Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new. I'm Anna Mae, and today's video is going to be something a little bit different to my usual kind of content. I'm going to be reviewing the Revolution Hair Care Tones for Blondes in the colour Sweet Peach. So, that's very specific, but this is my first time trying the Revolution Tones for Blondes, uh, and I obviously tried the Sweet Peach colour, as you can probably tell in my hair. So I took some footage before because obviously you're just seeing the after now. The whole reason for this happening obviously is that uh, I'm Irish and Ireland is in lockdown again and I have not been to the hairdresser since August and it is now mid-March. So I'm not a natural blonde. Well I am a natural this dark-ish blonde colour. It's a little bit darker because of this peach but um, yeah I'm gonna roll that footage now. You can see me applying it and just seeing my hair beforehand and then I'll come back and tell you what I thought. I look so pink in this lighting and um, hopefully it's not too echoey but I'm gonna be dyeing my hair right now. It is currently in a little clippy situation because I've been painting all day. I'll link to my new point shop down below but today as I've obviously entered in this video uh, I am dyeing my hair peach temporarily. I guess you've already seen what it looks like, but I guess you should see my hair beforehand. I'm probably going to be heat styling my hair. If you follow me on Instagram, um, at Anime by Design, you'll see I wear my hair natural most of the time. It's gonna look bad right now. But oh, it's not, it's not dreadful, but um, I have wavy hair and I style it wavy most of the time. Um, I have been not using that much heat, I recently just trimmed off a bit of my hair but as you also see on Instagram, my hair is trash right now. It doesn't look the worst, I'd say. It looks almost like it's an ombre situation right now but it is actually, um, it's really bad. I'll insert the specific photo here <laughs> that I'm talking about or a couple of them um, where my roots are just super grown out. I haven't had my hair done since August because obviously you know the panini hopefully i'll go in a couple months i keep going to like intro this video but i know i'm inserting this clip after the intro so you know future me knows what her hair looks like so um you know it actually doesn't look that bad the last time i washed it was just yesterday and but i like co-washed it good co-wash is the coconut co-wash from as i am definitely recommend it um, but i guess i'm gonna have to brush out my hair to do this so that's going to be a sight. So this is... I hope that's coming up on camera, but that's what we're working with right now. Um, I don't think that this is going to work super, super well. Uh, it's probably going to wash out quite quickly just because of my hair type. It's like really resistant to things, even like purple shampoos. So I don't think it's going to work that much, but I got tones for blondes because my hair is bleached. It is blonde. <laughs> Why. and then this is all my natural color so it's like a very dark blonde auburn situation so but not cute so that's why we bleach it i'm gonna go get a hairbrush and i think i'm just gonna time lapse from here on out Okay, the camera's in a weird place and my hair looks weird um, because it's done. So it definitely kind of looks like a rose goldy situation. Um, it is a lot lighter, like the color, I just know. So it's turning the brush. You can see that, there's lots of my hair in it, that's gross. Yeah, it's really neon on the brush, but I know that even the brush is a similar color to my hair, like the bleached parts. I don't think it's going to stay. I just, my gut feeling is that this is just going to wash out, which will be disappointing. Um, but if it is, I will just order a tones for brunette or something. Um, because honestly, I might do other colors, um, but you can, it's really like stands out on the bleached places. And I did put it all throughout just so it's like an overall tone. Um, but even though I'm pretty certain it's not going to stick to this part, um, I'm going to twist these up and let it sit for 30 minutes and then I'll rinse it out and I will show, show you what it's like rinsed out. <laughs> 
So as you can see from that footage, my hair was, you know, dark grown out roots and then lightened ends. So my hair is definitely very naturally like multi-tonal uh, and that's why some of the sections I think didn't take the colour as well because they are naturally lighter. I think it was the sections that are bleached that because I'm not bleached to like white blonde that took the colour best. The sweet peach is definitely one of the more subtle tones for blondes even and I think that at when I first dried it I was like you can hardly tell but it was at night but during the day and like in lighting like this you can definitely definitely tell that my hair is peach uh, I'm gonna try and take some photos for Instagram after this or later today uh, so check out my Instagram at anime by design to see even more photos of it but I think it turned out really well um, I haven't tried to dry my hair naturally since doing it but I'm sure it will be totally fine I usually wear my hair natural like wavy curly as I'll link some of my other videos. In reality this is pretty much a fancy conditioner. That's my opinion of this. Obviously it's just a review but this is pretty much a toning conditioner is what I would call it. So that's particularly beneficial for me because I have quite fine fragile hair and I really don't think that this is doing my hair any damage. Uh, that is what I was kind of worried about because I have a lot of breakage in my hair but I think it's totally fine, but it is a glorified conditioner, which is fine given the price point. I think I paid about 650 for this, which is such a good price for something like this. So uh, I would definitely recommend it. I haven't washed my hair since. I don't think that this is going to last very long in my hair. That's just my gut feeling, but it says between two to 15 washes, I'm gonna give it two. Um, my hair is naturally kind of warm toned anyway, so it'll probably be a little bit like residual but I don't expect it to last very long but for 650 I wouldn't really put that ex expectation on it. So as you can tell I have like quite long hair but my hair is not particularly thick so I did use the majority of this bottle. It looks like there's a little bit left here but that's because I added a bit of water to try and get the last bit out. In some of the other reviews of people using the version for brunettes, I didn't see many reviews for the tones for blondes, which is why I'm deciding to do this, but the tones for brunettes reviews, I saw a lot of people complaining about the packaging, saying it just was, it's just annoying. And I was like, that's so minor. No, the packaging is really annoying. I really think Revolution should maybe reconsider this packaging. Uh, I spent so much time trying to shake the kit conditioner I'm calling it the color out of this bottle uh, which is kind of annoying but I do have a little bit left as my hair is so fine it was entirely saturated I brushed it through um, so it was like it was really piled on and I do still have a little bit left so there is actually plenty in a bottle I was worried that there wouldn't be enough overall I think these colors are a really fun way to just mess with your hair especially in a time like this um, they're inexpensive and I would feel like putting them in my hair as someone who uses and tries a lot of hair products but they're actually very gentle so I'm not freaked out at all about using other products like this anymore. I was always a bit weary of like ruining the blonde because my hair is so prone to getting brassy I was always reluctant to try these hair colours but I kind of had a moment of it can't get much worse can it because my hair is so grown out and there were a few pictures where it just looked terrible so I was like now is as good a time as any. I'm not working right now, I'm still looking for a job, so I was like, hey, if I'm at home and just living my life, then I might as well mess with my hair. So overall, if you're thinking about trying this product, it's a double thumbs up from me. I would definitely recommend trying it. I have actually since ordered the Shrine Drops in like the bright pink color, and I'm going to be doing that next. So if you're interested in seeing the Shrine Drops and how that looks different and all of that situation, how that works on my hair. If your hair is similar, definitely subscribe to my channel. That's gonna be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I just ordered it last night. So I'm just, you know, on a roll of trying temporary hair colors. So subscribe if you want to see more videos from me or you want to see the review on the Shrine hair color drops. You can find me on Instagram at Anime by Design and I will see you in my next video.